In this video, we will talk about draining blebs in your skin graft. We will answer the elements, what is a sheet graft, what is a bleb, draining the bleb, and explain the aftercare. A common treatment for a third degree burn, like this one on the forearm, is a skin graft operation. Your surgeons will remove the burned tissue while you are under anesthesia. They will replace it with a sheet graft a skin graft without holes in it. Sheet grafts tend to have the best appearance long term. During surgery, a thin layer of skin called a skin graft is removed from another place on your body, like the thigh. The graft is trimmed and placed on the burn wound. It is then secured, often with surgical tape. The graft is covered with dressings and often a splint is applied. However, a bleb can form in the sheet grafts. It is a small blister with fluid or blood that could form under the graft. In order for the graft to heal properly, this fluid needs to come out. This procedure is done at the bedside and is called deblebbing, meaning a small cut into the graft where the bleb has formed. As you can see, the fluid drains out easily. In addition, your provider may drain the rest of the fluid with cotton tips or gauze. The cut itself does not hurt, but pressing on the wound can cause some discomfort. The small cut will become invisible as the skin heals. Once deblebbed, the skin is usually well stuck down by the next day. After deblebbing, expect the dressing and splint to be reapplied. Your providers may decide that another deblebbing is necessary over the next few days.